Hi, today here in Bangkok, I'm off to a part of the city that I'm completely unfamiliar with. I'm in search of a location from where this photograph was taken from. It's a beautiful photograph that I picked up on Pixabay, a photo sharing website, and I think it perfectly captures the notion of a kingdom. In the foreground is the Royal Thai Palace lit up in golden lights. And of course, in the background, you have the beautiful skyline of Bangkok. It really does represent a realm better than any picture I've ever seen. And I used the photograph as a backdrop for my newest uh, social media banner photograph. And as I was looking at the photograph earlier today, I realized that the images in this photograph represent the last two years of my life in a lot of ways. And there are so many lovely stories captured just within that photograph, the banner photograph. I decided to begin shooting this video here in this lovely park that's nestled into kind of a, 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 a highway interchange. There are cars that drive all the way around here and it's just, I don't know who uh, curates this park, but they really have done a nice job. And it's right off the, uh, the Sunset Canal, which is over there. And that's also a reason why I'm down here. I'm beginning my journey around Bangkok on a canal boat. But what brings me to this park are the images in my banner photograph. Because it was here that I captured the image of Ying that I'm using in the banner photograph. I got the sh shot of her in the park by the canal when six of us came here to shoot a video. I got the images of Kelly on a trip to Pattaya, where Boo's gigantic family gathered for Kelly's 14th birthday. Champu is a natural in front of a camera, whether she's just being champu or whether she's posing in my studio. And we all went out for Chinese New Year last February, and I captured this beautiful picture of Pinky looking mysteriously oriental. Camera shy Peking agreed to be the subject of a photo shoot because his girlfriend Cake was involved. And Cake has honed her modeling skills to the point where there are absolutely no shortage of photographs to choose from in that regard. But my journey to the other side of the Chow Phraya River to discover the perch from which the photograph of the realm was taken will begin on the humble Klong boat. The idea, the concept of a new banner photograph started, as many of my projects do, with a simple, spontaneous photograph that I took of myself, Bua Khao, and Nong Pa. We had all been off in different places during the day, and we came home to discover that we were all wearing white. So I took a quick snapshot, and I liked the way the snapshot came out. I started looking for ways to use the snapshot and the idea that, you know, it's about time for me to make a nice social media banner photograph to kind of represent where I've grown into over the last, well, 26 months that I've been doing videos and taking photographs. And, you know, my life has changed quite a bit for the better, I might add. I'm a fortunate guy. And I thought I'd wanted to have a social media photograph that's kind of representative of all of that. And I started with the, uh, <laughs> the photograph of the two girls and I wearing white. Well, turned out that the quality of that original photograph wasn't very good. It was shot in low light on an iPhone. And no matter how much I try to Lightroom it up or Photoshop it up to a point where I could use it the way I wanted it, it wasn't any good. So I had to take 
uh, I had to take another photograph. So I set up a photo shoot with the three of us. And with Nanun, who is part of our family as well. She's kind of quiet and behind the scenes all the time. She studies a lot. She's becoming a lawyer. But I wanted to include her in the banner photograph as well because she's indeed a part of the family. So she was included in the photo shoot. And Sai Sai, I already have plenty of photos of her from multiple photo shoots that I've done with her. She's very photogenic as well. She has a model's figure, pleasant lass. So that makes up the folks who are in my banner photograph of uh, myself and Boa Cow and Nome Pack kind of uh, looking out over the realm. It is a kingdom, keep that in mind. <laughs> My journey requires a trip on the underground MRT system, which I'm doing at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and all the school kids are getting out, and I still find it, I don't know, in amusing and you know, intriguing that the school kids here, both high school and college age kids, all wear uniforms. And they seem to be perfectly happy in that way. In my search for the photographic perch, that from which the cityscape of my banner picture was shot, I navigated my way to an MRT, a light rail stop called It's Sada Pot, which opened within the past few months. It's been open less than a year. So this neighborhood of Bangkok has not been served by a light rail mass transit system up until very, very recently, and it shows. It's a very Thai place. The MRT station was down that way, I guess about three quarters of a mile. I've been walking in this direction. I decided to just take shelter from the rain. And yeah, this is actually a very interesting way to get about. If you're prone to this kind of, uh, this kind of exploring, urban exploring, there's no better city to do it in than in Bangkok. I'm the only white person in this neighborhood that I've seen in the, uh, I don't know, hour I've been here so far, and people are very friendly. When I was at the MRT station looking at a map, this young couple came up and offered to assist me to figure out where I was going, and they were very earnest and very helpful, and they were also 100% wrong. I think they were practicing their English, but it is really an example of, uh, of how friendly a nation this, this Thailand is. Uh, they were very nice young people. I kind of knew they, they were going to be reaching the incorrect conclusion. Uh, it's better to figure this stuff out yourself. I, you know, there's a compass on, on this phone that I'm using as a camera right now, too. And there are great big landmarks like the Chow Phraya River, which is over that way. It's best to use, the, you know, good landmarks and a compass uh, to figure stuff out, which I've been doing so far. But, you know, just waiting for the rain to let up a little bit. It's just such a lovely light to shoot in. I thought I'd take a little bit of footage here too. There is a beautiful sky at sunset. Just as the monsoon storm passes by, it rained for about an hour. And here I am in this Thai neighborhood of Bangkok on the backside of Wat Arun that you can see off in the distance there. That spire, that tower, it's a very famous landmark in Bangkok and it sits just across the river from the Royal Thai Palace. So here on this kind of back alley is an interesting perspective of the spire of Wat Arun. His, the moral of this whole, uh, this whole odyssey, this whole, uh, oh, here we go. There's a friendly little person waving. I guess it's somebody behind me. <coughs> okay. What the guy? Oh, it's what Arun in here. Yeah. Oh. 
Go inside. Yeah, thank you. Oh, look at that. There is a back way in. It is a beautiful place. But here's a problem for my Odyssey, my quest for the perch from which the photograph was taken. There isn't anything here that you can climb up and take a picture from. There are no high-rise buildings. There are no big hotels. The only tall structure here is that thing. And I have a suspicion they don't let you climb up on it. But let's keep looking. You never know. But I'm beginning to suspect that my favorite photographed cityscape of the Royal Thai Palace in the skyline is taken with a drone. So Wat Arun is a very important archaeological site, an important holy site for Buddhists, important politically too for the royal Thai family and its history. And like most tourist attractions in cities and countries everywhere, I tend to avoid them. And then when I find myself in or near one, I'm like, wow, this place is really kind of cool. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't come sooner, but it really is a beautiful place. But my purpose was not tourism to come here. It was to find a perch from which to take a photograph of the Royal Thai Palace on the other side of the river with the skyline of Bangkok behind it. So with the landmark of Wat Arun. I am now on the north side of Wat Arun. Standing on the banks of the Chow Phraya River, which are not going to show up well in this uh, late at night photograph. But there in front of me is part of uh, the Royal Thai Palace. Over here is more of it. It's a pretty big place. And the photograph that I am trying to find the origin of would have been taken from right around here somewhere. And as you can see, there aren't any structures where a f photographer could have perched his camera. So clearly, or presumably anyway, the photograph was taken with a drone or some kind of flying machine. It's been an interesting and fun evening. It is quite beautiful here. One of the things that's striking about where I'm standing right now is the quiet. And it's just so nice and quiet, something that you don't find very often in Bangkok or Asia in general. It is a pretty vista here, standing on the river. A European tourist came over and asked me if there was still ferries running. I had to tell her I didn't know for sure, but I presume that they do not because the Watt, the grounds to the Watt are closed. They close at 6 p.m. Uh, to get inside where, where, where the actual stupas of Watt Arun are. So I suspect that the riverboat ferries stop running when the tourists die stop coming over the visit. She'll have to go home the same way I got here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I have solved the mystery of where my photograph was taken from. 
And now it's only about seven o'clock at night, seven, eight. I don't even know what time it is, but it's not very late. I just might wander around this part of town and see what trouble I can get myself into. I might even find a hotel and stay here overnight. We'll see.